वाइन फिड एफ फिंगर ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप द शेक ऑफ हर हैंड्स एस शी साइड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ड्रेसर ड्रेस इन द ड्रेस ऑफ हिस्स चॉइस प्रोवाइडेड टू हैव अर मेड्स एंड सम लाइट मेकअप इट वॉज अ रेड कलर मरमेड ड्रेस रेड वीस विल हर एंगल्स द ड्रेस वॉज एरिंग इट ऑन इट्स ओन एंड कवर हर वेल हर हार बी गॉड इवन इन सेन एट द साउंड ऑफ हिस फूड स्टेप्स न्यूरिंग द रूम शी कैन नॉट थिंक अबाउट ऑल द पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट कोई हैपन टू नाइट एंड इट ऑलमोस्ट मेड हर वॉन्ट टू थ्रू आउट Once Shankar entered the room, she knew there was no turning back. She also knew she signed up for this and can't stop back now. She sat there quietly and watched him, first riding towards the couch, placing his things down along with his coat. Then his eyes shifted towards her, and they never moved away. It was the intensity of his gaze which made her want to crawl away. It was strange yet so beautiful. He stood behind her placing hands on her shoulders. You look so beautiful, Jungkook said. His touch was gentle, she thought she would melt away. He helped her stand up and turned her towards him, admiring her features for as long as he wanted. Jungkook, relax. I won't bite. His hand rested on the nape of her neck as he leaned forward. She held her breath thinking he was going to kiss her. but he instead kissed her jaw softly her hands rested on his chest as a natural behavior junko you must be out of my mind when i bought you for some million dollars you can be mayor even if i sell off this whole world the intensity of his words did something to her she was surprised he was so gentle towards her but she didn't want to believe that just yet She kept her gaze down having no idea what to say. Jungkook, let's take a seat, shall we? He held her hand. The two sat down. Jungkook asked her about her family and her brother, her studies, job, career, profession, likings, everything in particular. Even if he had done his research and knew everything about her beforehand. She hesitated every time a question was thrown her way, but the gentleness of his words and actions made her want to say it all out. Her tears rolled down her cheeks when she shared how scared she was and how she never planned to get married this way. The sudden fear coiled inside her. "Wen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that." Jungkook had a dark gleam reflecting his eyes. which made her unable to look at him it scared her there was a part of jungkook who didn't admire it the part of him who grew up in a world where he knew how to take what he wanted by hook or by crook willingly or by causing a massacre it didn't matter to him but there was another part of him which he didn't know existed till now the night he laid his eyes on her something struck in him A voice that screamed at him to have her and never hurt her. He very well knew an innocent girl like her would never accept him, and he had to get her forcefully. But he swore a slight pain towards her, and he will slaughter anyone responsible for that. Jungkook, did I hurt you? She looked up at him, hands curled against her dress. No, she stuttered. However, managed to maintain an eye contact through her glossy vision. Jungkook, I took you the wrong way, but you would know. It's never considered wrong in the world where you belong to now. He stood up and took a seat beside her, holding her chin softly. I screaming danger, but he stood so gentle. Junko, you can think of it as an arranged marriage. I won't hurt you and give you everything you could ever ask for. So don't push me away. Don't get scared. I'm not a patient man, but I can be for you. His finger slowly caressed her cheek. Forget how we ended up together and give it a chance. Make it easy for yourself because there's no way I'm letting go of my wife ever. Why? Junko, that's not how it's done. It's not easy. You bought me. This is too much for me to take in. 
the cook. Shh. His hand went around her waist, to which she flinched, but calmed down. He didn't once hurt her. He pulled her close to him, so her side was against his chest, fingers playing with her hair. Jungkook, that's why you need to give it a chance, Wyan. His finger burned due to impatience, of touching her, kissing her, claiming her, making love to her, yet he stayed there, calm and collected for her comfort. He didn't know what was wrong with him, but he knew if there was one thing he wouldn't do, that was hurting her. Jungkook, you're thinking too much. Let's eat first. The two had a meal in silence. If not a few times, Jungkook asked her if she needed anything or if the food was according to her taste. She was so lost thinking about everything he said and came with the terms she had no choice but to give it a chance. If she kept running away, she would only create trouble for herself. Once the two were done and returned to their room, she sat on the edge of the bed after changing into her night suit and looked at Jungkook getting on his side while using his cell phone. Moen, Jungkook? Jungkook, yes, sunshine. She fluttered at the nickname and turned towards him. Were you serious about wanting to try our relationship? I mean, about it staying forever and what if you... Jungkook, like I said, you are thinking too much. I am serious about everything, about you. To answer your answered question, I mean it forever. And no, I won't let any other woman near me. Why? how did you? Jungkook, I can read you so well. Why? then I think I can give it a try. His fingers stopped, whatever he was typing and his eyes instantly shifting on her from his cell phone. He finished the text and placed his cell aside. You can't step back after this. Wine, if you keep your words, I won't. That's where his patience left him. He grabbed her wrist and pulled her towards him in a swift motion. At that moment, he couldn't think about anything else, as he held her chin so softly before kissing her. For a moment, he thought she might push him away, but the burning blood inside him couldn't stop him. He kissed her, lips molding against her till she didn't kiss him back. It was like a wind that compared no victory of his life before. It was strange. What was she doing to him? He pulled back. The two hadn't realized their position. She was laying on the bed while he was hovering above her. He saw the hesitation in her eyes and got off her. Jungkook, don't worry. We're stopping here for now. Wine slightly rolled to her side, pulling the sheets above her, her face curling against the soft comforter. A voice inside Jungkook's head cursed at him for finding her cute, every move of her in particular. He lay down and faced her, rolling her hair around his fingers, casually playing with them. Wine, I would like to know more about you. Everything I should know as your wife. Jungkook, that came out like a command, but I won't reject. First, I want you to relax. I won't touch you without your comfort. A sigh escaped her lips as she relaxed his shoulders, hands and curling, leaving the sheets as it is. Jungkook, let's talk about it next week. I don't want to scare you before you even settle up properly. Wine. I should at least know your identity. How can I relax when I have no idea who my husband is? Jungkook, I don't know what John told you about me, but there is a dark side to this world you are living in, and your husband rules that world. Jungkook whispered the last part, his face moving closer to her neck and healing in her scent to which she gulped. It took her everything to convince herself not to react out at that. She loosely held his shirt and he stopped, arm going around her waist and head resting beside her. 
less sleep. His words and hand movements didn't match. The way his fingers played around her waist, his closeness that was making her dizzy but something inside her didn't want to push him away.